one is for the guys, the bros. I have a few guy friends who have hit me up and asked questions about skincare or hair care. And I know there's probably more who are just too afraid to ask or you just don't have someone to ask. So this is for all of you guys. I got you key is here for you. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these tips are targeted towards the brown and black community. However, I hope everyone finds some value in this video. So let's jump right in. Welcome back to the CSI. If you're new here, my name is Keyshawn Dupuy, and if you're not, uh -huh, you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin, product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice. Let's start with hair. I'm gonna tell you guys the basics to know, such as like shampooing and conditioning. However, I'm gonna give some tips for any guys that's growing out their hair as well. I just feel like it's safe to assume nobody's putting y'all on to things such as detangling. So we're just gonna go over all of the basics. In this video, I'm not gonna really give you guys recommendations of products yet. I'm gonna do another video for that. If you have more than an inch of hair, you need to comb or brush your hair, please. Unless you are trying to lock your hair, there is no reason why you aren't trying your best to make your hair manageable, look its best, and you do that by combing or brushing it. So here's the easiest thing you can do. Comb or brush your hair every day. I know most of y'all have seen or know or were that one guy who always had the wave brush and was brushing his hair every two seconds. Those waves was going to swim. Yeah, I need that level of dedication to your hair if you are growing it out. Comb or brush it at least once a day. Bonus tip, if you have thick hair, do not comb your hair dry. Always put at least water in it. Or if you have leave-in conditioner, I don't care if you gotta steal your sister's own. Use something to wet your hair prior to combing it. If not, you're just gonna be yanking at your hair, which is one, going to hurt, and two, is gonna prevent your hair from growing. And what we call that is detangling. This is for any hair type. If your hair knots up easy, you need to detangle. And you're gonna start from the bottom and then go to the root. I have five brothers, okay? I've seen guys be really rough. Try your best to be delicate with your hair. Take your time, make sure it's wet, do it once a day, and you will see true growth in your hair and it will look so much better. So, shampooing and conditioning. So let's talk about it. Shampoo literally gets the sweat, dirt, dust, everything out of your hair. It cleanses your hair, clarifies your scalp, which then allows your hair to grow as well. And then conditioner is what you use to bring that moisture back into your hair. A lot of the shampoos do strip your hair, so you have to make sure you're using conditioner with the shampoo to bring that moisture back. So you need to get one of each, one shampoo and one conditioner, if you want to start cheaper, you just see a random one, that's fine. I'd rather you guys have the products and then learn which ones work best for you than just not do anything to your hair. Depending on your hair is how often you should be washing, by the way. A lot of you guys have really dry hair because you're washing every time you go into the shower. For some of you, that works. A lot of you, I promise you, it's not helping you. Put it this way, if your hair is oily, by the end of the day, it's kind of like weighed down. You can wash your hair more often. It needs it. If your hair is dry and wash it once a week, try it. Don't do it every day. It's not going to be good for your hair. But if you work out a lot or outside a lot doing a lot of stuff, try it every other day to twice a week. Styling your hair. This is a tricky one because everyone's hair is different and depending on how you want your hair to be, regardless if some of you are trying to get your curls to come back, growth in general, you want braids, you want locks, it's all is different. When it comes to styling though, you have two questions that you need to figure out. Does your hair like light, soft products? Does it like creams, heavy products? Does it like gel? That's just for you guys to experiment with. Like I said, I'm gonna give recommendations in the next video, but it's all about testing products and seeing what works for you. Oh, and real quick, a few of y'all have asked me about itchy scalp. One, make sure you're shampooing your scalp because if you are already using products, maybe it's a lot of buildup in there and you're not making sure to get it out and keep your scalp fresh. That's one of the reasons why your hair might be itchy, but also maybe your scalp is just really dry. Get some oil and put it in your scalp at least once a week 
but you can do it as much as you feel needed. It's a balance between making sure your scalp is clean, but also making sure that your scalp is moisturized. Basically, when it comes to hair, guys, make sure that your hair is clean it is moisturized with your conditioner leave-in conditioner your styling products and that you are making sure that it looks and feels manageable skin i ain't gonna lie i do love a good skincare routine i mean this really simple i'm gonna divide it in two face skin versus body skin face skin y'all if there's anything you take from this i want you to listen to what i'm about to say hand soap does not belong in your face if this is you, this is the last time you're going to do that, okay? You want to wash off the dirtiness and germs and dust and everything off of your face, but you have to use a facial cleanser for that. You can't use hand soap, can't use body soap detergent, you can't use any of that. You have to use facial cleansers. If so, if you've been getting any masking like I have right here, it'll make a difference if you're not already doing so. But here's the main three things to remember when it comes to skincare. Ready? One, wash your hands before you touch your face. Try not to touch your face throughout the day. Don't be picking at it. And please just make sure that you're washing your face once a day. I would prefer twice a day, morning and night, but at least at night after you've had a long day. But also, if whatever you are doing works, don't mess with it. Body, body, yaddy, yaddy. If you don't have your own bottle of lotion, you are doing it wrong. I don't want to hear any more excuses. The next time you're in Target, CVS, Dwayne Reed, wherever the heck you are, grab some lotion. Stop using your mom or your girlfriend, your sister, whoever, as an excuse saying, oh, well, they ain't get no lotion. Lotion your skin. All skin types, all races. After that shower, after you got wet and dry off, put a little bit of lotion on. Some of us are going to need thicker creams and butters. Some of us can just use some whatever lotion that we get. Also, not all soap is good for your skin. Why you think girls have like 15 million soaps? It's not just about how it smells, but it's also about how it feels on our body. Some of us are lucky enough to be able to use anything and get away with it. But if you're like me, I have eczema, I can't use just anything. My recommendation, grab some Dove. It's super easy to find everywhere, but also it's pretty safe for your skin. It's a good cleanser. A lot of y'all use soaps that's for harsh on your skin, which all it does is dry your skin out more. We don't want that. If the one you're using already doesn't make you feel really dry or squeaky clean after, then you're, you're good. I wanted to make this video as simple as I can make it just for all of you men out there who needed the basics of the basics of understanding our hair care versus our skin care hair make sure you are detangling shampooing and conditioning is the main things to remember and then with our body care remember to cleanse your face and your body don't use hand soap and lotion slash moisturize your face if you could do those things you'll probably see a big difference in your hair care and skin care so whatever you need to rework in your routine do it try it be consistent it takes time. All right, so I said what I had to say. If, if you made it this far, I hope you already liked and subscribed. And if, I'm more than likely going to do that part two, just so I don't leave you guys hanging and give you guys the recommendations of different products you can be using. But if you do have any information requests, video suggestions, anything along those lines, you can also comment below or DM me on Instagram. And if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.